Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're ready for some Junk Wax Era football cards. We'll be looking at the 10 most expensive that sold on eBay in the last week. We've got a pretty awesome top 10 here for you. We've got a nice set of bonus listings at the end as well. You definitely don't want to miss those, so make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end. Criteria for the list is up on the screen. We won't waste any more time, and we will get right into it. First up in the 10th spot from 1991 Star Picks, we have the Brett Favre Autograph Pre-Rookie Card Grade and Mint PSA 9, so for $275. This is a pop of 40 in a mint slab, and there are 86 higher graded Gem Mint PSA 10s that are non-dual grade, so that don't have a grade for the autograph. So these Star Picks Autograph Cards were randomly inserted into factory sets. And I mentioned last week that beware, some cards are known to have been forged, and then people will take a sticker from a less common card and remove it and add it to the star player. So if you're looking at cards like the Emmett Smith from last week's bonus listings, or this Brat Favre, I'd probably stick to graded ones that have the autograph certified. So these 1991 Star Pick sets can be found on eBay for anywhere from $2 up to 5 to 10 bucks. In the number 9 spot from 1990 Action Packed Rookie Update, we have the Leroy Butler Rookie Card Graded Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $300. This is a record sale for Leroy. The previous high was $123 from April of 2021. And this card in the Gem Mint Slab is a pop of 68. Leroy is a new inductee to the Hall of Fame Class of 2022. And boxes of 1990 action packed rookie updates sell for around 50 to 70 bucks. In the number 8 spot from 1992 tops, we have the Brett Favre second year gold parallel graded GM in PSA 10 sold for $355. The record for the sale is $1,225 from March of 2023. And this card in the GM Mint slab is a pop of 139. Brett can be found in high series or series 3 boxes of 1992 tops and the gold parallels are randomly inserted one per pack and those boxes have recently sold for around 60 to 80 bucks. If you haven't caught the hockey and baseball videos this week, I've added a new feature in the description below in the affiliate links section. I'll be adding links to eBay for search results for all the boxes in the top 10 or sets I guess, Star Picks is a set. So if you go down below and click on one of those links, it'll take you to eBay search results for those particular boxes. You can take a look, see what they look like, see what they're listed for and selling. So when I list the box prices here, I get these at a Terra Peak, which is eBay's tool for looking at sold listings. And I'm looking at auction results or best offers. So if you click through these links, chances are you'll see a variety of different box prices. We use the information I put in these videos to get a good idea of what a fair offer would be to the seller. And I do have to add for full transparency, like any other affiliate link, if you guys click through it and end up purchasing something, I will earn a commission on that. And the number seven spot from 1990 Pro Set, we have the Vince Lombardi Hologram, numbered to 10,000 and graded a near mint mint PSA 8. This car is sold for $356. This is the second highest sale. The record's $389 from back in March. And it's a pop of 62 in a PSA 8 slab with 40 graded higher with the highest being 39 mint PSA 9s. These will be found in Series 1 boxes of 1990 Pro Set which have recently sold for around 15 to 20 bucks. In the number 6 spot from 1991 Top Stadium Club we have Brett Favre's Rookie Card. With his name misspelled, graded Gem Mint PSA 10, so for $399. Pop of this card is $1,881, and boxes of $1991 Top Stadium Club have recently sold for around $40 to $60. Bucks. In the number 5 spot from 1991 Wild Card Collegiate, we have the Brett Favre Pre Rookie Card 50 Stripe Parallel, graded Near Mint Mint Plus BGS 8.5. This car sold for $475. No subgrades for this one. It's a pop of 7 and there are only 15 graded higher with the highest being 3 Gemmin BGS 9.5s. 
boxes of 1991 wildcard collegiate recently sell for around 50 to 80 bucks if you click on that link below for this box the 91 wildcard collegiate when i was setting it up i noticed there was a full case for sale i was very tempted but shipping cases to canada is quite expensive if any of you guys end up clicking through and buying that case i want to know the breakdown of the parallels that you pull out of it In the number four spot from 1987 tops, we have Jim Kelly's rookie card graded Gem Mint PSA 10, so for $500. This is the highest sale for Jim Kelly since last June, and the pop is $390. And boxes of 1987 tops recently sold for around $300 to $370. Bucks. All right, let's see what we have in the top three. First up, from 1991 Proline Portraits, we have Bill Belichick's autograph rookie card in raw condition. Good picture there showing the seal of authenticity. This card sold for $639. Boxes of 1991 Proline Portraits have recently sold for around 20 to 30 bucks. In the number two spot from 1990 Action Packed Rookie Update, we have Emmett Smith's rookie card graded Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $800. This is the sixth highest sale, with the record being from February of $1,375. It's a low pop of only $206 in the Gem Mint slab. And boxes of 1990 Action Packed Rookie Update recently sold for around 50 to 70 bucks. The set has quite a few Hall of Fame rookie cards. You got the Leroy Butler from earlier. You got Junior Seau, Cortez Kennedy, and Shannon Sharp all in this set. You can buy boxes of packs, and there's only 84 cards in this set, so you have high probability of pulling all of them, I would imagine. And top of the list this week in the number one spot. From 1990 Score Supplemental, we have another Emmett Smith rookie card. This one as well, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10, so for $1,652. Pop of this card is $757, so quite a bit higher than the Action Pack rookie update. And the 1990 Score Supplemental set sell for around $110 to $130. Alright, that's it for our top 10. Let's take a quick look at our Market Movers Junk Wax Football Index. So for the week, we're down a little bit. We're off that Super Bowl high from last week. We're down to 106.1, but that's still pretty good. We're up 6.1% from January 6. 15 cards make up the Junk Wax Index list. Here are the cards. I definitely will be adding some more to these. This last week in a bit, I was working on adding in all those eBay links. But now that I got that running smoothly, I will be looking at these lists for sure. Definitely want to add a variety in here, get some more, get some more Hall of Famers from those... 80s and 90s sets. All right, let's take a look at all four sports and see how football stacks up. Still leading the pack, 106.1. Yeah, hockey and basketball all within 0.1 of a percent, and baseball still lagging behind this week. If you guys want to check out the Market Movers app, there's a link in the description below, and you can save 20% on your first month subscription with the code JWI20. All right, let's get into the bonus cards. First up, from 1990. Sports Cards Digest Multi Spore. We have the Joe Montana Hand Cut Pocket Price Guide, graded Gem Mint PSA 10, so for $610. This is a Pop 1, and this is the first sale of this card of any grade. These rare low pop oddball cards are starting to sell really good. From 1991 Pro Line Portraits, we have the OJ Simpson Autograph Card in raw condition, so for $140.38. You can see there it has the authenticity seal from Proline. There hasn't been too many of these actually graded by PSA. Only 15 have been submitted. And the only sale of a PSA graded one was a PSA 9 that sold in November of 2019 for 400 bucks. Up next, we have a complete set of 1985 Topps USFL in the binder. All cards in raw condition, so for $113. I guess stop finding these good deals on these complete USFL sets and buy one one of these days. From 1995 Select Certified, we have a two card rookie card lot of Terrell Davis, graded Gem in PSA 10, they sold for $200. So 100 bucks a card, it's a pop of 494. Sales of single cards have bounced around 70 to 100 bucks in the past year or so. So I don't know if it's really that great of a deal for the pair. 
from 1994 Ultra Flare. We have the Barry Sanders Hot Numbers Insert graded Gem Mint PSA 10, so for $150. This card in a Gem Mint slab is a pop of only 20. This is a record sale for a Gem Mint PSA 10. The previous high was from March of 2020 for $102.70, and I think it's still a really good buy. I couldn't find the insertion ratio for these uh, hot numbers inserts, but, but I know the flare basketball ones were box hits, 1 in 36 packs, so I'm assuming that football was probably pretty similar. So I think this was a really good buy. From 1994 Proline Live Autographs, we have a classic combos of Troy Aikman and Michael Irvin, dual autographed and numbered to only 345. How awesome is this card? This was graded at BGS 8.5 and it sold for only $275. This was a steal, guys. You got two great Hall of Famers, Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, dual auto, and low numbered, only $345. Am I missing something here? Subgrades were 9 for centering and edges, 8.5 for corners and surface. It's a pop of 5 and there's only one higher graded mint BGS 9. Up next, we got something I've never seen before. So this is a 1990-91 to 91 49ers San Francisco Examiner Hand Cut Card of Jerry Rice, graded Gem Mint PSA 10, and sold for $350. This, is a, look, this looks like a pretty big card. It's got the big PSA slab. It's a pop of four, and this was a record. The previous high was November of 2020 for 125 bucks. From 1993 tops, we have the Jerome Bettis Gold Parallel Rookie Card Grade, the Gem Mint PSA 10, sold for $197.50. That's a record sale and a good buy, I would say. The previous high was from November of 2021 for $182.50, so just a few months ago, and it's a low pop of only 11. From 1989 score, we have the Great Combos Card of Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Dual autograph with the autographs authenticated by Beckett and graded at 10 and it sold for $342. If you're into collecting autograph cards, this would be a pretty cool one to have to the collection. Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. From 1987, we have the Ace Fact Pack San Francisco 49ers team set. This is 33 cards, they're all raw condition, sold for $338. So these fact pack team set cards, there's card sets for different teams. These are from the UK and they're full of a bunch of facts of the different players and stuff. Um, you get Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Ronnie Lott and the 49ers. Very low pop that's graded, PSA. Uh, PSA 9 of Jerry Rice sold for around 100 bucks back in 2020. Joe Montana, PSA 10 sold for 300 bucks in November. But they're all low pops. And there's other team sets as well. I've included down below in the eBay links, I've added one for the 87 Ace Fact Packs. If you take a look, they're sealed sets for a bunch of different teams. Kind of neat to look into. Alright, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Give me some feedback of what you think of adding the eBay links in the description below. If you haven't done so already, please take a quick second to hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support from you guys every week. If you check out the eBay affiliate links below, there's also affiliate links for BCW Supplies. You can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And as mentioned before, there's a link for the Market Movers app, and you can save 20% on your first month subscription with the code JWI20. Alright, as always, enjoy the rest of your day, and keep collecting. Thank you.